This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for August 27, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up 0.07 points or 0.02% to 410.27. Total trade volume was up with 86,557 shares changing hands at a total value of 423.8 million real or 104,000 US dollars. On the main board, most stocks were down, with only two up. The Phnom Penh Autonomous Port led the market up 0.90% or 120 real to 13,480 real per share, followed by CamGSM, which was up 0.42% or 10 real to 2,410 real per share. On the downside, the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority was down 0.58% or 40 real to 6,800 real per share, followed by MJQ Education, which was down 0.49% or 10 real to 2,040 real per share. Other stocks down were Pestec Cambodia, Akleda Bank, Phnom Penh Special Economic Zone, and the Sienicville Autonomous Port, while Grand Twins International remained flat. Over on the growth board, both stocks were down. DBD Engineering was down 0.96% or 10 real to 2,070 real per share, and JS Land was down 0.58% or 20 real to 3,450 real per share. Akleda Bank recorded the highest trade volume of the day with 44,559 shares changing hands at a total value of 331 million real or 81,250 US dollars, making up approximately 49% of August 27th's trade volume. Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ again recorded the second highest trade volume of the day with 26,117 shares changing hands at a total value of 59 million real or 14,500 US dollars, accounting for 29% of Tuesday's trade volume. In other market news, the Cambodia Securities Exchange released its second quarterly report, which reveals that the exchange recorded a total market capitalization of 11.22 trillion real, or approximately $2.73 billion, for its equity market at the end of Q2 2024, which is a 10.09% decline compared to the same period in 2023. The CSX index by the end of quarter two reached 414.14, which is a decrease of 9.36% compared to Q1 of 2024 and 10.14% decrease compared to Q2 of 2023. Moving on to the exchange rate, the Khmer real to USD strengthened to 4,075 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was down to 100.79. Looking at global commodities, oil prices slipped slightly on Tuesday after rebounding more than 7% over the previous three sessions on supply concerns prompted by fears of widening Middle East conflict and potential shutdown of Libyan oil fields. Brent crude futures were down 30 cents or 0.4% at 81.13 US dollars a barrel. After the jump in oil prices on the back of geopolitical risk in the Middle East and a production halt in Libya, market participants are now holding back to assess further developments. Gold prices ease, consolidating near record highs reached last week as investors sought clarity on the magnitude of an imminent interest rate cut from the U.S. Federal Reserve ahead of an inflation report due this week. Spot gold fell 0.3% to 2,510.31 U.S. dollars per ounce. U.S. gold futures fell 0.4% to 2,545.60 U.S. dollars. As of the time of the Cambodian market's closing, U.S. stocks were rising after a string rally in the previous session ahead of chip maker NVIDIA's quarterly earnings, which are seen as a potential make or break moment for the artificial intelligence trading craze. Dow Jones Industrial Average futures were up 20 points or 0.1% after the index set a new record closing high on Monday. S&P 500 futures were also up 0.1%, while contracts tied to the tech-heavy Nasdaq 100 futures rose 0.2%. This was Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for August 27th.